Hello Drone Enthusiasts, my name is Jeans and it looks like a yo-yo is missing. <laughs> so welcome to a brand new series, this is going to be a yo-yo only playthrough. I have test run this and I know that it can work. However, I have not beaten the Wall of Flesh yet. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Who knows, so I have equipped already some red dye, a robot heart and a bee shirt because I was trying to get my character to look like Ness. So if that offends you, I am really, really sorry. But uh, we're going to be playing with Dai and Vani outfits. That's cool. But other than that, this is a brand new world. I have not even seen it. All that was built was this little house. And I did this on another character. And this will serve as a hub world for all of our yo-yos. Because it's actually a good way of knowing how many we have left. So the first part the first part of this Let's Play is to actually get some wood. Now, standard only playthrough rules. We're only allowed to use... The play like the weapons that we're selected and this weapon is yo-yos so one of the things we're going to have to focus on through this playthrough is yo-yo accessories and some melee attack and defense so that's literally about it the first step for a yo-yo is to get some wood because the first yo-yo is actually crafted with wood and a little bit of web so we're going to need some web and we're going to need some wood now i'm deciding to run this way because this guy's going to get me if not i really hope we find a cave soon all right okay let's grab that day bloom and I think this is it. We're going to have to literally jump into the mines like this. Oh, God. And hope that we get a recall potion once we come out. Oh, God. Don't even have any slime for some torches. Oh, there we go. Right off the bat. Nice one. All right, we'll go down here. Okay, first chest. Let's open up our little mini-map and zoom in a bit. Whoa. Okay, so in the first thing, we got an umbrella, it's recall potions, and some iron skin. Not bad. Uh, I'll happily take that. We'll move that to there. Okay. Whoa, buddy. Alright, come here. Let's see if we can grab this quick. Uh, we did actually hit him. We're not counting that. <laughs> I don't, I'm don't. i not sure how it works, actually. I don't know if you're allowed to use your uh, pickaxe to start with. I'm thinking not, so... Alright, we'll put that on torch. And we'll hopefully be able to make some wooden platforms before this guy hits us. Yep. Yes, we have. Alright, 81 health. Not good. Okay, steal all these pots. These pots are gonna help us. Thankfully, their they are uh, their AI is actually pretty nice to actually run away from. But yeah, we're on the we're on the hunt for webs, so that's our first part. So, just checking out all these dark areas should help us. Okay, what is this way? I don't think there's gonna be any web. Webs usually found a little bit deeper than this, so we're gonna quickly jump this way. Hello, sir. We have passed you. I am sorry about that. Alright, this way. Um, are we going to get any web this way? Hmm. How many torches have we got? We've got six torches. Oh, and some web. There we go. Cobwebs. We're going to need 20 for our first actual yo-yo. We've got 17 there. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. I was hoping to find uh, our first yo-yo in one go, but... Well, that was, uh, that was dumb. That was dumb. But this playthrough should hopefully run through... <laughs> to every single yo-yo in the game. That's the goal, at least. So, so far off the top of my head, I know the Rally, the Amazon, the Wooden, the Terrarian, the Iakafulu, the Code 1, uh, or the Code C, I think that's what it's called. Code C. C stands for competition, if I remember. Right, Lee? So, lots of yo-yos. Absolutely tons of yo-yos that we can actually find. So, we've got a lot set out for us. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna come this way. And oh, can we not have we got any rope? Yes, rope. We're gonna rope our way up here. Should we make some rope coils? Yeah, let's make some rope coils. We can throw these. Let's put down the torch. And we're gonna go back to where we were. Um and we're gonna work through it like progressively. And we'll go because it seems like we were onto some kind of natural forming tunnel, so we're going to go that way. Um, okay. Hey, not bad rope throwing, buddy. Okay, we're going to go this way. Alright, have we got any cobwebs? No. Alright, let's go this way. Uh. Hmm. Got my keen eye out for them. Have we hooked this wall? Yeah, we should be able to jump over. Now, how do we go from here? I'd say we make a few more platforms. And what we do is we go over these guys. Like this. 
and then we rope down. Seems alright, alright? Yeah. Oh, there's a spike slime. Not looking forward to that guy. I guess we're gonna have to go up a little bit until they go away. Alright, there we go. Right, are there any more cobwebs around here? All we need is a few, and then we have literally our first weapon. So we'll go this way, and we'll go up. So, just a few questions in case anybody has them. Um, this is a, it's a normal world, it's not an expert mode playthrough. And the reason that is, is because I've already had problems with this thing on a normal mode, so I don't know if I could do it. Wow. Oh my. <laughs> uh, let's, let's get back to this point. Okay, we're back. So yeah, I wanted to say uh, we're on a normal mode playthrough because I've tried this and I couldn't do it on normal mode past the wall of flesh, so... I'm hoping I will be able to in the future, but... Well, I'm pretty sure I will. I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to explain why I've gone for that choice. Ooh, rope! Uh, cobweb, sorry. <laughs> nice one. Okay, let's go this way. Now, I'm pretty sure it has to be crafted at an anvil, so getting some... How much, uh, what have we got on us? we got tungsten? Oh, we got lead. I think you can make a lead anvil. I think that's how it works. Oh, these guys are not gonna lead up, are they? Hmm. Alright, what do we do? I say we, we jump up. We get a rope coil up there. We heal up, we run away. Oh god. Let's grab these pots on the way. And what we'll do is we'll fluke them. We'll get them to come around here. We'll get them to think they're going to be able to eat us, but no. Because we're going to jump over the heads. And we're going to jump over the slime and this bat. Oh god, it's not going as well as I hoped. No, no. No, no. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Right, let's throw another rope coil. Oh, uh, well, sorry. Let's throw some rope. Okay. Can we get this from here? No. We're going to have to make some platforms to get across. And we'll put one there and there. Okay, this should be enough, hopefully. Alright, that's four cobwebs. Let's put down a workbench. And hopefully we can make an anvil. Yep. Oh, no. We can actually just make a wooden yo-yo. Hell, yeah. First part done. And, uh, I've already died three times. To be honest, though, lucky number three, really. I mean... Oh, who thought I was going to die then? I did. Uh, so yeah, usually I die about three or four times anyway on a series, um, before I even start. So when we, what we're going to do now, is I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. What we're going to do now is we're going to go quickly explore. Uh, we're going to quickly explore, just see what accessories we can get. And then it's on straight to the jungle. Because jungle's got some great loot in there. Uh, one of the loot it has is a brand new yo-yo. Now one of the yo-yos that we're actually going to have to farm for is actually from the underground as well, so being in this area here, which is the ice biome, isn't going to help us. But I imagine the yo-yo that we're going to farm for, the rally, is actually going to take a little bit of time to get to anyway, so we'll see. Okay, let's come this way, and... Ooh! Okay. Let's get out of yo-yo. Let's take on these guys. Oh, we seem to have found a new chest as well. Well, not a new chest, but a chest. Alright, how many yo-yos is... Uh, how many yo-yos? <laughs> God, my speech today. Let's throw a rope coil there, actually. Alright, how many cobwebs is that? That is 15 cobwebs, which means we are very, very close to a yo-yo line. The yo-yo line's going to increase our actual line distance. And to be honest, this can be extremely effective as long as you take things a little bit slow. Because then that way you can get a, like a, a good amount of distance from them. This is actually quite a fortunate amount of topaz. Look at that. Ten. That's brilliant. I'm got a buddy statue, which is quite cool. Okay, so... Ooh, we got a blizzard in a bottle. Funnily enough, that's free melee speed. And melee speed isn't going to do anything for us. Funnily enough, when I actually test from this series, uh, I got the exact same accessory. How crazy is that? So we're going to go... Now let's have a look on our map. Uh, where would be the best place to go? I'm thinking mining through to here. Would that be quite cool? Yeah, we'll mine through to here. We're just going to see if we can get any more chests. Uh, any kind of like uh, heart crystals or defense bonuses. Or just anything that we can find. Maybe just like an accessory for a good prefix. Are going to help us on our quest. But like I said, we're off to the jungle. And in the jungle is a very, very good item in terms of yo-yo. It's like a very, very advanced, very powerful yo-yo. It's just damn awesome, so once we do this, that's where we're going. 
So let's take a look at our stuff that we've got right now. We've got some recoil potions. We've got iron skin potion, didn't we? Uh, we've got a day bloom if you want to craft some regen potions, which would be pretty awesome. And we've got some seeds. Have we got any clay? No, we haven't got any clay. We're good if we had some clay. We're going to grab all this silver because a silver helmet is a piece of defense. And maybe it has a melee bonus. I cannot remember. We're going to grab all this. Oh, God. Okay. So, yeah, I tried to make this uh, Ness Vanu outfit for this series, and uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get anything that was like blue and stripey. Uh, blue and yellow, so I got blue and black. Uh, blue and black. Yellow and black, and I hope that's good enough. But the reason I also like this uh, vanity outfit is because my friend actually sprited it, which is pretty awesome. My friend Waffles actually sprited this shirt. The B shirt, which is pretty damn awesome. When I say friend, I really do mean friend. Okay. Ooh, so we're on to a, uh, a marble biome. That's pretty cool. Pretty nifty. Ooh, we've got two torches left. Ooh, and an abandoned... Oh! Well, we're getting loads of loot. So we've got an abandoned railroad track. We have a cave bat to kill. Come on, buddy. And a heart crystal. Whoa. Oh, they're just everywhere. Look at them. Oh, we'll grab that little heart. Okay, so let's put a torch up and let's grab this heart container. Yes. Let's get on this thing. Ooh, tell you what. Wee. Tell you what this is. This is going to be a little building, isn't it? We got any slime fruit? No, we don't even have any slime. So we'll rope back up to here. Oh, okay. Let's come up here. Let's grab this torch so we can steal it. And we'll walk around with it. Okay, awesome. So we've got a chest. We've got a band of regen with one defense, which is pretty awesome. We've got a suspicious looking eye, which is going to be good for a boss fight when we need it. And uh, is this a silver pile? No, it's marble block. Are these all are these all purely aesthetic. I always destroy the aesthetics now, just in case I miss anything. We'll take that loom in case we ever need to make another bed. Yeah, this is looking this is looking pretty good for a find. It's a nice accessory. Being able to regen health is pretty damn awesome. So we're not doing much damage to the spike slime, are we? And we're not going to do much damage to them either. So, well, I know when to quit. But first, we need to build up here. Oh god, we got medusa We got medusa Run away! Come on, let me on this track. There we go. And, um, let's kill this ice bat. Come on, ice bat. Die to a yo-yo. There we go. And how much cobweb have we got? 25, that's not bad. That's exactly the amount we need. Right, let's take a slow ride on this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Classic James. Okay, so let's add to our base of operations. Let's add a loom. Let's add some chests. So we've already got two chests. Oh no, we've got three. We've got a marble, a normal, and an ice chest. And let's uh, let's see what else we can get. Um, right, well, we, what we can actually craft is if we put down that crafting bench that we actually made here, we should be able to make a line. Oh no, no we can't because we need something else. We need some chains, right? And we need some wood. Have we got any wood? No, because we're not going to have enough of this. What we need is to actually make a sawmill. And a sawmill is going to be able to, like, is it going to allow us to actually craft this silk or this uh, wooden, this yo-yo line. So no, it's going to take us a little bit of a while to get that. But it's onwards to the jungle, because that is where our next yo-yo is going to be. Sorry, Mr. Bunny, you do not make the cut. Let's put some up here. There we go. Now we can properly jump over this house. Woo! On our way. Okay, so let's see. Let's rearrange some of our inventory. Yeah, that should do. We have a good amount of wood. We have uh, some nice materials to actually craft with. And we should be able to get out of here alive because the desert, bi the desert biome is going to eat you whole when you have this yo-yo. Because we're only going to do one, like, one or two damage to anything we actually come into contact with. Grab this day bloom. Okay, so if you're wondering why I'm going this way, if you're wondering if I know what is this way, I don't. I do know, however, that if we have an ice biome on one side, we're gonna have a jungle biome on the other. So that's why we're off this way. 
Oh, and this is pretty cool. A nice, uh, a nice little treehouse. I've not had a world with a treehouse in a very long time. Ooh. What have we got in this? Oh, we got the, uh... Nice one. We actually got the crafting materials for this. This could make a pretty nice house at some point. But we're gonna chuck something in there. Actually, let's, uh, let's pop a torch. And let's leave it for an NPC. Oh, we don't even have any torches on us. Great. We're gonna leave this one for another day. Actually, no. Let's grab this torch here. Whoa. There we go. We'll put that there. And we'll come out of here. And we'll, what we'll do is we'll build a little doorway here. Okay, so it looks like this guy's already aggro. Ooh, this vulture's gonna do a lot of damage to us. But our yo-yo's gonna do more. Let's take out this guy as well, because we need this slime, don't we? And I'm gonna grab some of this clay so we can make some actual pots for some potions later on. There we go. And I imagine it's like five per one, so we'll grab we'll grab twenty. And then hopefully I can do this jump. Whoa! Alright, what we'll do is we'll grab some cactus and some sand. And with the sand we can make a uh, actual pots for uh, for potions. So and with the cactus armor, we have the possibility to make some good defense. Well, I say good defense, just a little bit of defense. Bye vulture. Alright, so it's on to the jungle. Now, most jungles that I encounter always have some kind of way of getting down, so... Let's go this way. Let's see if there's a passageway down to the underworld. The jungle underworld. Come on, buddy. Die to our yo-yo. Uh, there we go. How much damage do we do to a sand one? Oh, seven damage. Not bad. Three, seven, six, seven... 11? Oh, that's not bad. 11's our, like, critical strike chance. It's not bad. I've, no I've just noticed something. We haven't even spawned in our little pet. Come here, Crafty Carrot. Let's actually put you in your accessory slot. Let's swap that over, and let's put a pet in here. Okay, let's mine down this first one as well. Okay, we'll mine this. Because you're going to need some mahogany wood if you want to actually craft the Amazon, so... But only eight pieces will do. So we've got 74, that's not bad at all. That's like a possibility of like, I don't know, like... I don't know, like nine yo-yos? No, probably eight, probably eight yo-yos. No, oh, nine. Nine yo-yos. Alright, let's turn our map. Alright. Ooh! This is good. This could give us the possibility of getting a vine. We only need one vine for this. Come on. Come on, buddy. Drop a vine. No. No vine for us today. And I think this is going to be our little passageway down. Now we're going to take it quite slow. Well, hopefully slow. Ooh. Nice little chest. Got an arcane radar. We're going to equip that because 20, 20 mana, why not? I know it works from our inventory, but there's no point having it in our inventory. Ooh, we got a nurse. Nice. Okay, so we're on the quest. Oh, there we go. We're on the quest for some jungle spores. Let's grab that first one. And, uh, oh, I don't think it's worth jumping down, but we have that second jump right there, don't we? Okay, we're gonna craft uh, some torches real quick. Whoa, buddy, calm down. All right, where's he gone? There we go. We need to kill this man here because we need his vine. Oh, there's a hornet there. Hornet's going to do a lot of damage to us. Whoa. Oh, we're not doing much damage to him, are we? But maybe. Oh, okay. I'm going to take my bust, by the way, because uh, eight, uh, eight defense is good. Come on. See if we'd if we'd have been able to craft that line, would have uh, would have killed this guy by now because. We could have got a little bit closer. Come on. Just get hit by the yo-yo. Drop some stingers, buddy. Drop some stingers. There we go. We've got one stinger. I think we only need two for this. And we have two of these guys, which means we have a nice chance of getting a vine. Come on. Oh, no. Not a spike slime. Not a spike slime. We don't like them. We don't like them. 
Yeah, I definitely don't regret taking these buffs. Come on, guys. Work with me here. Well, that's not gonna work, is it? Ooh, we're getting we're getting underneath them. They're not liking it. I think this guy's gonna go first. This one here. He seems a little bit too eager to die. No, 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 no. Had a fear about that. Had a fear about that. Whoa. If he can reach out here, we're we are pretty screwed. Oh no. Oh god, I had a fear about that. Did he drop a vine? No. Come on. Just work with me here, buddy. Come on. Did we get a vine? No vine. Damn it. But we did get the opportunity to grab some more jungle spore. However, we already have three, so I think... Oh no, we do have a vine in our inventory. I don't know how we got that. And how many stingers do we have? We have one stinger. And I'm pretty sure it's two, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, go check the crafting recipe just real quick. Because if that's the case, we can quickly go upgrade now. And wow, lots of cobwebs. So I'm going to quickly go check. Okay, so we have to go and craft this thing by getting one more stinger. So let's uh, let's put down some rope just down here. Hopefully we can track some baddies. Apparently there are 12 enemies nearby. Don't see him. Oh, there we go. We got one on our way. Oh, and there's one glitched into there. Oh, is that two glitched into there or is that just the one? Oh, he dropped the stinger. Oh, and the second guy's stuck as well. I'll tell you what we can do. Put some rich mahogany here. And then we can mine down just a little, little bit. Just to here. And we can actually kill this guy. Or we can at least grab this stinger. There we go. One stinger. One stinger. Now let's go back. And let's craft our Amazon. So bam! There you go. That's actually a... Uh, you can even treat this as a fantastic tutorial just for... Come on, let's put our first one on here. Wow. You can actually treat that as a pretty fantastic tutorial just for crafting an insanely powerful weapon in uh, like however short it's been. I would say this is probably the easiest weapon that you could get right now that actually does amazing damage in the early game. So watch this. Bam. Bam. Dead. So thank you for coming and checking out my yo-yo only playthrough. This is like a pilot episode I would say so please leave feedback on it. If there's something you like, something you don't like, let me know. Um, I'm really excited to carry this challenge on. I've already mapped out how I'm going to progress through the whole game and it should be really good but Please, if you really like it, make sure to give it a like and just tell me what you think. If this is the first episode and you want to see more, make sure to click that subscribe button as well. If you've never seen my videos before, I like to do lots of different playthroughs. I also like to do top 5 videos, I like to do news videos, lots of Terraria things for you guys to enjoy. So if you're a Terraria fan, it's really worth clicking that subscribe button. You'll get it straight to your home page. So thank you all for watching. My name is James and we should be proud of Ness. He's done a really good job today. He may have died a few times, but he's done a really good job. So thank you all for watching. Peace.